Hey, hey, Andrew here. Now, in this video, we are going to look at follow-up. All right, the fortune is in the follow-up, and it is so true. All right, first of all, before follow-up, we actually need to explain the, uh, the conversation tracking tool, all right, which is just a spreadsheet, basically. So when you're having conversations and getting the video out to people, this is, or when, you, when people respond to a conversation, so you're talking with them, here's what they do, all right? Say if I'm talking with um, Gail, for example, Right, I'll just click on Gail. I might have to open a new tab. All right, so we've got Gail here. I've got to bear with the um, slowness because I'm probably uploading a video at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll grab... Oh, where are we? I'll type in Gail's name here. So Gail... Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll go to her Facebook, so here she is, I can hover over her name and right click and copy link address, or I can um, basically copy that where it says Gail Pot 2 and before the question mark and all the other stuff. Alright, so I can do that, come back here and if I click there, then click up here and then paste it there, it'll give you a link. All right, then I'll say uh, video sent, and then I'll then I'll just little information. I could say um, uh, grandmum looking uh, to uh, save for retirement or something. Right, just a bit of an idea. So when you go back to Gail, you go, up, oh, right, gotcha, I know who we are now. Then you can hover over, all right, you can hover over the thing and see how the little pop-up comes up. All right, if you click that, it opens Gail's Facebook profile. You go straight there and message her. All right, so we won't do that because it's very slow. So that's where you can save it. Now, if you've got Steve's come in, you've got his profile there. Okay, we'll put the link in there. And we can say, um, building rapport. All right, so in other words, you're making a friend, but you haven't sent the video yet, and you can still have, um, you know, single dad, uh, two kids, uh, boy, girl, and blah, 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 blah. All right, I do this, all right, for example, if I open a link a new tab, all right, there it is, all right, there's my list. So what you can do over here is you can put a date when you next need to follow up with them, all right, so I've got Veronica there, and say, Steve, I need to follow up, um, I, I'll make it the 19th, and I'll say this one needs to be followed up. And you see how I'm changing the address at the top there? On the 20th. All right, now you can see these dates are out of order. So what do you do? You click, see that little the box in the corner between A and 1? You just click that. Then you go data, sort range. Now you've got a header row. You've got a, a titles across the top. You've got date, name, URL. So you need to click that and then sort by next date. All right, A to Z, sort. What it does, it goes whoop, it changes the whole sheet and puts the, the, last, uh, the first one next, and then it's got the 19th, 19th, 20th, 21. So it puts them in order. Every day you do that, or as you're working down the list, and then you sort it, go back to the top and see who's next. All right, and as you're sending out more conversations, as more people come back, add them to the list, and keep following them up, right? You might say have one guy there that didn't answer you, and look, you can get, you can, uh, and I'll add to the script like the um, look. I see you read the message and didn't and didn't give me an answer. Look, all I'm looking to see is uh, if you've seen the video. If you have, give me some feedback one way or the other. Totally cool either way, right? 
and then uh, and then say follow up in another three days and just keep following up until they either tell you to go away or no and then which case you say all right totally cool um, totally um, uh, understand that or whatever I can't think of the word totally respect that but um, just just by the way if we get another exciting update would you mind if I send you some information just so you can keep your ear to the ground everyone says yes to that right then you put uh, on the um, announcement list and change the date down to further down like um, 2020 so it always puts them at the bottom so when an announcement does come out you can send a message to all these people that said you could okay so that's the tracking tool very powerful so you don't miss anyone all right now the follow-up itself here's what you do if you're just starting out this is the question you need to learn what did you like about what you've seen what did you like about it get them talking positive now what they'll do is they'll come back and say yep i like the fact that we get part ownership of this and residual income and then you can add oh and this too i really like that agree with him and then add a little bit all right when they start asking you questions as a newbie here's what you do you say hey listen great question i'm just getting started but hey i noticed that andrew's online we can probably get him on a call would you like to meet him bang get on a zoom call a three-way call see how un uh you know li how little resistance that can be right oh, I, I see andrew's on the call i see gail or alex or whoever your upline leader is i see they're online would you like to see if they can spend five minutes to answer some questions for us all right very very powerful now what you do we may well combine the three-way call and the follow-up all right here's what you do you get on a zoom call you absolutely praise the leader not over the top but you say oh look um thank you andrew for, for coming on i know your time's valuable um george this is andrew 12 three years a, a president or a vice president or whatever whoever it is in the company is absolutely crushing it and i'm so grateful that he's uh he's been able to spend a few minutes with us and i'll just go oh, oh, oh right um yeah okay i'm doing okay but mate you're in the right place with your name okay and i hand all that credibility back to you right so in the eyes of your prospect he's got the world leader right there and he's just said you're in the right place with them so they're in the right place they've got a ah oh, awesome i've got a great team to work with all right then as you as the inviter shut your mouth right um do not talk over the leader because that um belittles their authority all right now we i mean it's not about that all right we don't want to be blah 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 but in the eyes of your prospect you've got you know the leader in to talk so let them do their job their job is is this is what and if you are on a three-way call as the um the member inviting a guest watch the leader see what they do here's what i do and here's what most should do they should make them laugh by telling a corny joke or something just to break the ice find two or three things in common within a minute and i'll do this every time all right then i'll ask what did you like i i understand bob sent you a couple of videos which ones have you seen the one with the tanks and guns at the start or which yeah, okay great what did you like most and i'll let them talk and you're just sitting there smiling and nodding the whole time all right with your camera on so they can see you smiling and nodding all right and they'll tell me and i'll do the same thing i'll say oh yeah that's awesome i love that too and the fact that you can actually do this as well with it and like to expand their understanding all right and uh, it'll get to a point where you're back and forth a couple of times and i'll say this line okay um well there's a couple of lines so on a, on a scale out of one to ten this is one from eric worry and i think this is one we should really do all right on a scale of one to ten where do you sit right now one being completely not interested or ten being let's go 
All right, and they'll give you a number. Now, it does not matter what they say. All right, if they say 1 or 2 or minus 5, we're going to ask the next question anyway because they're probably just being a smart ass. Okay? So whatever number they give, you say, well, all right, well, in that case, just hypothetically speaking, if they gave you a low number, just say, hypothetically speaking, all right, but if they gave you a good number and say, all right, what kind of income? So you'd, you'd gauge it, you'd say hypothetically or what kind of income would make this worthwhile for you? What kind of monthly income? All right, and they'll give you a number. Then you say, oh, awesome. So what kind of time commitment per week, how many hours a week would you be willing to commit to make that happen? And they'll give you, oh, no, 10, 15 hours a week or full time or whatever it is. All right, and then you'll ask, all right, what period of time with those 15 hours a week will you give it to establish that monthly income you're looking for of 10K a month? And they'll give you a uh, three month or two, one month. And I say, oh, well, seriously, like you need to give it a little bit of time to generate that kind of income, all right? And, and just say, all right, well, maybe three months. So, if I could show you in three months utilising 15 hours a, a week over a three-month period how to generate $10,000 a month, would you be willing to start today? How do you say no to that? You've just regurgitated what they told you they would do to get that income. By saying no, that would be an absolute against the grain move by them, okay? All right. Another closing line that I use quite often is basically, sounds like you're ready to get started. Just downward inflection statement, all right? Um, it depends on how it's going. I might just go the short way or the long way. It depends, all right? But that's how you do a three-way call, guys. And what you do right then and there, as soon as I've said yes, Right, um, Bob, where's your link? We'll get you signed up right now. Okay, so we get them signed up, and then I'll say, oh, I've got to shoot off. I've got to call in about five minutes, but would you like me to run through the options of different packs you, you, can, uh, you can grab? All right, so I run through the options and upsell them if possible and try and sell them, say, you know, instead of just doing $250, I might say, well, one option that many people are doing is starting a hundred dollar a month package for ten months, so it's a thousand dollars. But all they're doing is paying three months now, and the next payment won't be um, be having to made in March, April. All right, that gets you the bonuses, but it also gets you seventeen thousand tokens compared to three thousand. People always go for it. All right, what that's done is you've got an extra fifty bucks now but you've insured an ongoing income into next year. Because by the time March, April comes around, we're on the market, okay, and the token will be trading at a higher value than what they're paying off. Of course they're going to finish it. All right? So always go for the upsell as well or get your, your leader to do that. Learn what it upsells they are. I mean, I also promote, why not start a 250 a month package for 10 months? You get, uh, I can't remember how many it is, it is 37,000 tokens, all right? And they could be worth, you know, up to $2 next year or more, depending on where the free market finds its price. I, I fully expect more. Those 37,000 tokens could be worth 75 grand to you and, and really get the benefit down. So this will be the, uh, the video for follow-up and three-way calls, guys. Very, very powerful. Uh, if you've got someone who's half keen, try and line them up with your leader, whether it's me, whether it's, uh, you know, your upline. Work out who they are all right, and do a three-way call just to close people in. So on that, guys, um, we will have different uh, sequences and pages to uh, nail down the sign-up process. But for now, we have a page that works. I'll just be swapping out videos as we go along. 
So I hope you got value out of that, the follow-up and three-way call. So with the seven-day challenge, guys, I promise you, if you run at this, all right, and, and we come back to the numbers, all right, if you run at this, you send 200 messages out, you have 100 conversations, you get the video out 40 or 50 times, you'll probably sponsor more than 12 people and you'll probably get more than four that do something. All right? I'm overkilling the number of messages going out. But you'll soon know when you send out 50 and your messenger absolutely lights up, as you have more and more conversations, your skill level will increase. All right? You'll learn how to get the video out, and that's the key. The number of videos you get out and you following them up, all right? But as you send the video out, try and raise their curiosity. Just that extra level, what is it? I'll send you a video to say, mate, I'm so grateful I found this. This is going to be so awesome, all right? And then just be quiet. And they're going to go, well, what is it? I'm saying, mate, I couldn't even explain it. I've got a very short video all right, are you happy to receive it? Of course I am. Tell me what it is. Then you send the video. Can you see how making them more curious will make them want to watch the video rather than what is it? Oh, I'll send you a video. Okay. And then the lawn needs uh, mowing or they need to feed the cat. All right, or something gets in the way. So raise their curiosity first as well. Follow up is king. Use the tracking tool so you don't miss anyone, the tracking spreadsheet. Use your upline to help close people in. Do this. Do a condensed effort, right? Because here's a barrier. You're here. Your dreams are over here, right? You need to hit that barrier with momentum to get your breakthrough from where you are now, stuck in a rut, Learning, you know, working seven or seven or whatever you're doing, you need to break through that barrier. To do that, you need momentum. Momentum is caused by getting a, a burst of energy like this, and you are on your way. Do this seven day challenge two or three times, right? After Christmas, first thing New Year, all right? If you do that and complete it, you will set yourself up a six or a multiple six-figure income. Trust me, I did it. Okay? Um, and if you want to do a seven-figure income, do six or seven of the seven-day challenges with all of your team. It will explode in numbers, guys. So tap into this, tap into our calls, which will still be run three, four times a week. And uh, really get excited, guys, and do a massive run into Christmas. Because Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, we're just going to relax and spend time with the family. After Christmas, we're going to pick up all of our energy and keep going. Because we hit 2020 after doing two weeks worth of this seven-day challenge. Oh, my God, you are going to cash in big time. All right? So on that... Andrew out, be awesome, and we'll see you at the top.